What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So glad that you all took some time out of your day to uh, click on this video and, and watch it. Uh, first of all, thank you everybody who has subscribed to the channel and leaving comments and stuff. Let me know what you guys think about the videos. I really uh, appreciate that. And if you guys could continue to do that, also share these videos, help me uh, grow this channel because I, I actually have fun doing these things. And it really makes me feel good when I actually hear people, whether it's a comment or if you're around the area here where I live, and people actually let me know that they watch my videos and they like them and you know whatever it is I put out in a video has helped them in some kind of way so I appreciate the feedback guys uh, keep those coming in uh, let's go on and jump into this it's time for me to do a monster bass box but you guys are about to notice something that for us it's really a big deal because we like it but here is my monster bass box bag yes you're you are looking at a bag now the old bags that monster bass used to do looked like this kind of like any other company that had i think they call them money bags but uh around the time when covid hit it was just kind of hard for Rick and the guys and girls over at Monster Bass to keep getting the bags. So the bags went away. But uh, Rick has been getting a ton of comments about we want the bags to come back. So he was able to work out a deal with a company. And here are the new Monster Bass bags for the Platinum Series. Uh, these things are awesome. You can put a ton of bait in these. Uh, you can put multiple baits in here. And then throw this in a backpack and take it out for those of you who like to do some bank fishing. So the bags are really, really cool. And uh, I can't wait to load this thing up with some of my favorites. So we're going to jump into it. Uh, also, uh, one of the things we've been doing are these cards here for Fish Angler. If you guys have had uh, Fish Brain, Fish Angler is kind of like that. I haven't subscribed or signed on to Fish Angler yet, but it's pretty much the same as... Uh, fish brain <coughs> excuse me if you guys can see that you can scan that qr code pause the video scan that qr code and go ahead and get yourself set up on there also something else new that rick is doing uh if you scan this code here this tells you about what you just got in your bag slash box and then you can scan this code here it says uh, scan QR code to do a survey and get $10 discount uh, when you go to Monster Bass and do any shopping. So I think that's pretty cool now that Rick is not doing those booklets anymore. However, you do have a QR code that you can scan and all of the information will be on your phone. So that's, that's something that's pretty cool. So here we go. Right here we have some X-Zone Hot Shot Minnows. Brandon Polinick. I actually like watching this guy fish whenever um, I do my um, Bassmasters uh, fantasy fishing. I usually look for Brandon Polinick because he's he's a really good fisherman and I like watching him. So uh, X Zone lures. Uh, this color is called. I don't see a color, but uh, drop shot. Uh, that, that's probably going to be about it. This is a good drop shot bait, which right now, drop shot is, is kind of the deal. Uh, you have a Kingfisher crankbait. These crankbaits have a really unique design and how they're made. I haven't thrown any of these yet. Uh, this color is called the Chartreuse Blue. So, but I mean, that's a really good shad color right there. So probably get a lot of play throwing him right now. Uh, depending on where you live at, right here where I'm at in Arkansas, we're kind of having this weird little weather thing. Well, some days the weather be pretty good, pretty warm outside, and then there'll be days where it's still a little chilly. So the fish should be moving up <clears throat> and getting ready to start spawning if they haven't already. Got a monster bass neck buff there. Your old school monster bass sticker. Okay. Now, here's something new. 
I'm not sure what happened. I don't think Mystery Tackle Box is still in business. And Rick bought some of those lures that were coming into Monster Bass, or not Monster Bass, but Mystery Tackle Box. So for the first time in a Monster Bass box, we have some Guggenbaits Dragon Drops. Uh, these look like they're pretty good, I believe, for uh, maybe Shaky Head, uh, uh, Drop Shotting, uh, you know, only, the only thing I've seen about the Guggen Baits is when I do catch some of their uh, YouTube videos, also some of the pros, uh, Scott Martin. Uh, for a while, J uh, Justin Wheeler was uh, an ambassador or a pro staff for Guggen Bass. Uh, Dustin Connell also. Uh, those guys have moved on to a different bait, but that's a that's a first for us. We have a, a Booyah spinner bait, half ounce. Uh, this is their. Uh, trying to see the Covert series. This is a blue chartreuse with a red head. And then you've got the single uh, Colorado blade. That would be good, probably in some stained, muddy water would be really good for that. Uh, you got a couple of drop shot baits. So Rick would be really doing us a disservice if he did not add some monster bait drop shot weights. Uh, 316th ounce. And then some Mustad Wacky Nico hooks, size two. So now you have weights and hooks to pair up with your drop shot baits there. And also, we have a Guggen Squad, Guggen Squad clickbait. The clickbait was their take on the vibrating jig or the chatter bait, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce blue crawl. So, that's a, it's a nice looking color there. It really is a good looking color. It looks like a bluegill. Probably put a, a, some kind of crawl bait or something like that. Maybe even a paddle tail swim bait. Uh, that was pretty much it, guys. But again, uh, so right now we're in that springtime. I would probably even rig this up on a Texas rig and just slowly crawl this along the bottom. But then again, that's just me. But uh, spinner bait definitely. The click bait will definitely be a player, as well as this uh, small square bill crank bait. But do not, do not sleep on going offshore. Uh, if you guys have watched the Bassmasters Classic that just wrapped up and the uh, Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Red Crest where Dustin Connell became a two-time Red Crest champion a lot of fish were caught offshore people were out there uh, scanning around using their uh, their live scope and I'm pretty sure you guys have probably heard a lot of the talk about the live scope and forward facing sonar I don't have a dog in that fight because as of right now I don't have one of those on my boat uh, I hear a lot of people when they say, oh, forward-facing sonar is cheating. Well, it's only cheating because you don't have it on your boat. The minute you buy one and put one on your boat, it will probably change the way you fish and you will no longer look at it as cheating. Also, just because you have the capabilities of putting forward-facing sonar on your boat and you can now see the fish when they're on the cover, it's not a guarantee that the fish will still bite your lure so yes you can see the fish it's not a guarantee that they're gonna bite so but either way uh, a lot of those guys were catching fish drop shotting uh, I don't think I saw a whole lot of people who said that jerk baits was a big uh, player in their fishing techniques but I wouldn't doubt that it was or it wasn't so but Again, don't sleep on the drop shot baits, but the fish should be moving up towards shallow water, getting ready to spawn. So start throwing those baits around the covers, the trees, uh, the logs, uh, the submerged grass, all of that stuff. Start throwing baits up in those areas because that's where the fish are moving up to uh, start spawning. Um, that's all I have. Again, guys. Sign up for that Platinum Series uh, box and get you a bag 
that you can reuse for multiple things. Uh, that's all I've got. Again, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the bell and click on all so you get notified of when I put out videos. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button and leave comments, share the videos, and please do not forget when you subscribe, drop a comment or something to let me know that you have subscribed so I can add you to the giveaway. Uh, the last video I did, I did put in there that Six Guild does not have those Cyclone reels anymore. So whichever one we do, uh, I'm trying to get to 200. I'm either going to do a Monster Bass giveaway or somebody is going to get a Six Gill Hamar reel. Um, what I'll do for the reel, whoever the winner for the reel is, uh, whenever I make that announcement, make sure when you put your, when you give me your information to have it shipped to you, let me know if you want right hand or left hand retrieve, and then I will find out what gear ratios they have. And then let me know which one you want. Cause I want to make sure you get the reel that you want and not just one that I'm going to send you. So I'll make sure I put that information out again, as I get closer to getting ready to do that giveaway, but that's how we're going to do that. But just make sure you let me know that you are a new subscriber so I can add you to the giveaway. And good luck to everybody. Hopefully somebody wins. That's all I got, guys. Till next time, I'll see you in the great outdoors.